The former chairman of the House of Representatives Ad Hoc Committee on the Management of Fuel Subsidy, Farouk Lawan, says he'll be vindicated of the bribery allegation leveled against him. The lawmaker made this remark after he attended his first plenary session since the news of the bribery scandal broke. He walked into the session midway through the day's deliberations and after exchanging pleasantries, sat for a few minutes before leaving the chambers. Now speaking with journalists on his way out, Mr. Lawan said he believes the decision taken by the House to suspend him as chairman of the subsidy probe as well as the Education Committee was the right one. Well, uh, first of all, I, I think it is important to note that I've been a member of the House of Representatives in the last 13 years. And uh, of course, together with several of my colleagues, past and present, we have done so much to build the House of Representatives as an institution uh, that uh, should enjoy the respect and the confidence of Nigerians. And whatever the decision taken by the House of Representatives, I believe, is meant to ensure the credibility uh, of the institution. Uh, because as members, we must at all times recognize that the institution is bigger than each and every one of us. And it's an institution that must continue to give hope and confidence to the Nigerian people. So whenever uh, any issue, uh, any particular member, it is important to recognize that the institution itself is bigger than each and every one of us. And so uh, the decision of the House of Representatives is a collective decision of an institution, and uh, I have absolutely no problem with that decision. Uh, as far as the, uh, you know, the issue relating to me is concerned, uh, we are, uh, uh, you know, I, I, I believe ultimately I would be vindicated. Uh, I just urge Nigerians to continue to be patient. I have not spoken on the issue uh, for strategic reasons, but I, I believe that in the end, Nigerians would come to believe and to see that for the 13 years that I've invested in championing good governance, accountability, and probity in this country, that this, this last trial is a trial from God, and I believe in the end we shall prevail.